that, huh? Now we have the mail merge, which is our next step because we've created the list. Now we're going to have our data here to actually do the mail merge with. Okay, and so it's pulled all that information in from that list that we created. Now we're going to click OK. So we've clicked the mail merge recipients dialog box. Turn the page. Now editing data. All the data records recipients have been entered in the data source and saved in the file name. We just did that. Okay. Uh, to add or edit recipients in the data source, you would click on the edit recipient list right here. If we wanted to change it, let's see if it's going to have us do that. To delete a record, do the same thing. Okay. Using an existing data source. Instead of creating a new data source, you can use an existing source, such as what we discussed earlier. Most likely it'll be an Excel table or maybe an access data table with, a, uh, with the address information. Okay. To do that, then you would just go into the mail purge pane and select recipients and then start and find the right recipients. For contacts list, the same thing. I have select contacts. And then you can read down through the other ways to do it on access. Okay, composing the main document for the form letters. The next step in this project is to enter and format the text and fields in the main document for the form letters. A main document contains the constant or unchanging text, punctuation, spaces, and graphics, as well as references to the data in the data source. You will follow these steps to compose the main document for the form letter. The date, the address block, the greeting line, enter text and insert a merging field, entering additional text and merge fields, insert an if field, insert the remainder of the letter, and then merge all the letters. So now we're going to click Next, write your letter down here in the bottom, step three of six. Now we're going to go to step four. And we have our letter in front of us. Now we're going to turn the page and we're going to work on all of this. So enter the date, click the date content control to select its arrow. Excuse me, I don't see the date. I'm sorry, I'm doing this backwards. This is the date content control. We're going to look for April 2020. We'll click on the 22nd, April 2020. Click outside the content control to deselect it. So we have that outside. Right click the date to display a shortcut menu, then click remove the content control. Remove content control. That way it stays that same date. Merge fields. Now we're going to create our merge fields. These are all the different things that we're going to put in there that's going to pull the information from the table that we just created. Insert the address block merge field. The default format for the address block merge field is the same is the first name and the last name on one line, followed by the street address on the next line, and the city, state, and postal code on the following line. In this letter, you want the potential employer's title, Miss, Mr., etc., to appear to the left of the first name. So you also want the organization name to appear above the street address if it does not already. 
the following steps insert the address block merge field in this format. Delete the content control that contains the placeholder text for the recipient's address. Hit the delete key. And it says delete the recipient name placeholder, but leave the paragraph mark. Okay, so I need to delete this blank paragraph first. I didn't finish that on that first bullet. Then I'm going to go up to the recipient name and I'm going to hit delete, but I'm going to keep that paragraph mark. Now I'm going to click the address block in the mail merge pane. And now we're going to format, scroll through the list of recipient names, formats, insert address dialog box, box, address block dialog box, and click the format Mr. Joshua Randall Jr. in this list. So ours has already pulled it up, Mr. Joshua Randall Jr. Sorry, I got distracted. Click the Match Fields button. Click the Company arrow. There it is. And click organization name. Sorry about that. I was a little distracted. Click the company arrow to display a list of fields of data sources and click the organization name. I just did that. Click OK. And now it's put in the company name there. And click OK to insert the address block. Click OK. Now to edit it, you right click it and then you can edit it and then you can make the necessary changes if you wanted to. But this is if you wanted to. See this? If you wanted to. Be careful with those and the it can get get sneaky on you. The preview results in the main document. Click the preview results button, mailing tabs, preview results group to display the values. So Preview your letters. Wait, hold on. No, it wants us to do it this way. Preview results. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay. It should look like this. Turn the page. To insert the greeting line merge field. Now we're going to insert the greeting line. So it says delete the word dear, the recipient placeholder text, and the comma. But leave the paragraph mark. So we're going to click on here, and we'll hit the delete key, and so I get everything but the paragraph mark. Click the greeting line link right here, this greeting line link. It's going to pop up a dialog for us. Necessary, click the middle arrow and the greeting line format arrow. Click the format and make sure it says Mr. Randall. If necessary, click the rightmost arrow in the greeting line format and click the colon. We have a comma. It wants us to use a colon. And click OK to insert that greeting line. It'll look just like this. Click OK. And now it says, Dear Miss Briggs. It doesn't say, it says, Dear Alicia Briggs. It says, Dear Miss Briggs. To, if you wanted to change the format, again, if we wanted to, or not wanting to, to view the merge fields in the main document. Because you will be entering merge fields in the document next, you will wish to display the merge fields instead of the merge data. The following steps use merged fields instead of merged data. So click the preview results button, this one here, to turn that off. And now it's going to show address block and greeting line, just like here. 
Now to begin typing the body of the form letter. The next step is to begin typing the message or body of the letter, which is located in the content control that begins with the placeholder text. If you're ready to write, and we're going to click that to select it. And now we're going to start typing. Now we're interested in the what. So now we're going to insert a merge field. So we have our insert merge field stuff here. I'm going to click on it. And we want to find the position because that's the position we're applying for. Click insert and it puts that field in there. Okay, I'm going to close the merge field thing, and I'm going to hit the space bar, and I'm going to keep on typing. I'm interested in the whatever position, position at space bar again, and then now I'm going to put the name of the place here, insert merge field. I'm going to do the drop down this time, and I'm going to pick organization. And then I'm going to push spacebar and keep on going. Do I not have a space after the at? I don't think I do. That we discussed. Go a lot faster if you didn't have to listen to me and do it separately like this. But first time you do anything, it takes a long time. And we're going to put thank you in advance space bar. And then we're going to insert a merge field, the title. So we're going to insert merge field and then the title. And then we're going to push the space bar again. And then we'll put their last name. Insert last name. And then after we insert the last name, I'm going to put a comma for your time and consideration. And then wherever we're going to apply, employment in. And this time we're going to use an if statement because there's two different types of places we're applying for. So remember we did the M and the T earlier. So we're going to use the if statement.
Okay, and basically it's looking for something, and if it's true, it puts an answer. And if it's not that true thing, then it's going to pick on that. So T's for th therapeutic medicine physicians, and the other one is medical device or companies. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. Let's go into the directions. So with the insertion point positioned as shown in, okay, we're going to go to the rules button. Insert message field. Whoops, nope, that's not where it's at. Right, and insert fields group. Rules. And then if then, else, click on it. And now we have our information. So we're going to look for the field. The field that we want to look for is the product sold. If the product sold, I'm going to have to scroll down here. This is the last thing we put. Is equal to, and ours is equal to T. If it's equal to T, then we say put therapeutic medicine. Medicine. And if it is not a T, that would mean it would be an M. And we'll put medical device. Click OK to insert that field. And now we're going to enter to the rest of the document. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's press the space bar on this one. Organization. Period. Change the closing word to sincerely. Placeholder text with your name, Dwayne Jackman. Delete the title because we don't have a title right now. I'm going to delete that. Make any adjustable adjustments to spacing if you need to. And it should be all right. To highlight merge fields, if you wanted to highlight all merge fields in a document so you could identify them quickly, you could perform the following steps. Again, if. So we can do this without highlighting. Okay, but we can look at it and see if they're that way. Okay, to toggle the field codes. The instructions in the if field are not displayed in the current document. Instead, it puts therapeutic medicine. The reason why it puts therapeutic medicine is because it is not an M right now. There's nothing in there yet. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. If necessary, scroll to the display the last paragraph of the letter in the document. Right-click the field results showing the text therapeutic method to display the shortcut menu and click toggle field codes. So I'm going to right click the therapeutic method and I'm going to just click toggle field codes and then there's our if statement. Okay. Now it says save the main document for the form letter again on the same storage location. And if you notice, we have the SAM upload. So that means this is done with this particular uh, lesson. So I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to stop here. And we'll pick this up when we get finished. But this is how you would print it if you were to print it. And we'll pick up here in just a few minutes.